Welcome to Real Estate Mortgage Shop, where we offer solutions to your real estate and financing scenarios. I'm Joe Garner, your host, mortgage professional. Catch this podcast and more at jogarner.com. Good morning, Memphis. Welcome to our internet listeners and podcast listeners across the 50 states. You're on Real Estate Mortgage Shop. I'm your host, Joe Garner, Mortgage Loan Officer, and you can connect with me at jogarner.com. Thank you to Chad Irwin, Memphis Mortgage Manager at Evolve Bank & Trust, for sponsoring this episode of Real Estate Mortgage Shop. And if you're looking to ratchet up your mortgage career and have some fun doing it, give me a call at 901-482-0354. Our general topic today is your home and your mortgage. How to make sure that you are standing on a firm foundation. What does standing on a firm foundation mean to you? Call us while we're live at 901-535-9732. Today is February the 17th, 2018. So what does standing on solid ground, solid foundation in your home and with your mortgage mean to you? I'm going to be covering some techniques that you can use to to determine truly your maximum comfort level on a house payment and what you pay down when you go to buy your house. Because you know what? It's not all about how you feel. You need a little logic in there. Dan Brenner of Redeemers Group, he's a foundation repair guys, are going to be covering how you can tell if you have a foundation problem in your home and how to prevent some of these problems. Dan Brenner of Redeemers Group, this is your first time on Real Estate Mortgage Shop. Dan is the sales manager at Redeemers Group, and I believe, Dan, that you joined them around 2015. Dan, you help recruit, train, and support the system design specialist in their day-to-day activities. Tell our audience a little bit about you and a little bit about what Redeemers Group does for your clients. Well, thanks, Joe. Let me start by saying it's great to be here. I appreciate, uh, you know, being with you. Um, As far as myself, I mean, I'm a local Memphian. um, And, you know, I'd like to say I have the all-American family, you know, uh, wife, two kids, uh, but really, it is about Redeemers Group and and what we do and what we can help you know folks with in the Memphis area. So we really specialize in a few main main areas. We do foundation repair, we do basement and crawl space waterproofing and encapsulations. We do a little bit of um, mold prevention and then some concrete leveling. Mm-hmm. Um, and obviously, we're here today to talk about foundation repair and some of the some of the things that come up with your foundation, why they happen, how they happen. Um, and, you know, certain techniques and tips to, to be able to identify those things and, and take care of them. But those are the main areas we focus in. Um, almost everything we, we do comes with a lengthy warranty. Um, obviously, being in the real estate industry that you're in, yes. uh, it's important for homeowners to know that uh, all our warranties are transferable if they sell the home. Right. So, um, you know, we like to think that we help people uh, every single day, you know, taking care of their homes, not only for themselves and their families, but, you know, for the next, you know, family to come in and enjoy as well. You know, there's there's something to be said for peace of mind, isn't there? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> well, I, I, and I know you guys have an excellent reputation, A-plus rating. Uh, I, every time I have you guys on my show, I have people say they're the best. They're the absolute best. So kudos to you for doing a great job out there, Dan, Thanks. you and Clint Cooper. You know, um, on this show, we're talking about, we're sharing about uh, how to determine if your house may have serious foundation problems. But, you know, we're going we're, we're gonna to talk about that later in this show, too, about the effects of all this rain, the weather that we're having, and what, how it affects our home foundation. And, of course, living in Memphis, I think we're one of the only cities, and there are a few more around the country, where we wear flip-flops one day, and the next day we're wearing rubber, I mean, uh, rubber boots and snow boots. So Absolutely. But, um, you know, here's a question. How do you know the maximum house payment that's going to work for your budget? Well, the first bit of wisdom for a happy life it comes from the book Integrity-Based Communications by Shelley Bauer. And she's from right here in Memphis. Um, one of her instructions is to tell your truth quicker and faster. To get to the truth of what you can really afford each month for a house payment comes with the B word, budget (laughs) your own budget some of the financial gurus online and in books in general will advise you to keep your total house payment 
under 25 to 28 percent of your gross income. Your total house payment, uh, it's not just the principal and interest you have to budget for, but also the taxes, the insurance, any private mortgage insurance, uh, association fees in some cases. So, um, you know, you definitely want to consider all that when you're calculating your house payment divided into your gross income. Uh, these are uh, these same financial gurus are going to recommend that you your total house note plus all of your other debt like cars and personal loans, credit card payments, student loans, other installment and revolving uh, account credit should not, and that's included in the new house note, should not exceed 38 to 40 percent of your gross income. Now these underwriting uh, programs and software, they'll let you go a lot higher. Some of them will let you go as high as 55 percent on a debt ratio, but you know mm. really, Dan, who wants a 55 percent debt ratio and be handcuffed to the house, right? Doesn't leave you much money to do anything else. I know. And there's a whole lot more to do in life than make a house note. But here's an interesting fact. Neuroscience seems to support the fact that we as humans make decisions based on 90% emotion and only 10% logic. Wow. But I mean, really, is that surprising? In an article published by MIT Technology Review back in 2014, neuroscientist Antonio Damasio relates research done on people who experience damage to the area of the brain, you know, that affects their emotions. Right. And uh, they did test on them. And without the ability to feel emotions, these people experience great difficulty making decisions. Now, these are decisions not, not involving clear, logical courses of action. You know, if it's a yes or no, and there's no, um, it's, it's just white, and there's no gray area, it's black and white. Right. They, they were really good. But trying to make a decision like which house you want to buy or what kind of financing or or how should we go about this challenge of taking care of a foundation repair, they were seriously impaired. So, you know, it really goes to prove that uh, we have to intentionally, when we make a decision about anything, whether it's real estate related or your business, we have to intentionally uh, introduce uh, some active logic thinking in order to be assured, because we can enjoy the peace and bragging rights later, uh, right. really putting some real facts to this but before you jump into buying a house consult with a certified licensed financial advisor or your tax professional these professionals can advise you because they know your specific financial details buying a house can be one of the biggest investments you will make in your life and this investment can affect what your financial life and reality is going to look like for years to come so take a moment to consult with the pros consult with the pros uh, consulting with them is going to help you employ a larger degree of that logic we can come back to more on keeping your financing on solid ground but how do we keep our homes on a firm foundation so joe that's a great question and you know when we come back from the break here in a second we're going to talk you know, a little bit about what causes these problems. Uh, you know, you mentioned the rainy weather here in town. Mm -hmm. um, you know, also uh, just identifying when things are going on. You know, a lot of people just don't see the signs. It's hard to identify sometimes. Uh, even if you know what you're looking for, sometimes it's hard to identify uh, when you're having foundation issues. So, you know, we're going to talk a little bit about that. Um, you know, we're going to talk a little bit about the, uh, the finances and, you know, uh, the real estate tip of the week. Oh yeah, I love that one. Yeah, but you, you got you guys have got to wait for that one though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the teaser. Um, but yeah, we're going to talk about all those things um, and how Redeemers Group can come out and and you know really help you identify what's going on and then allow you to be able to make an informed and educated decision. Uh, it's hard to do that. You know, you were talking about making those decisions, but it's hard to do that if you don't know. Exactly. Facts. Yeah, exactly mm -hmm. what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, it's such a peace of mind when you know that somebody that really knows what they're doing that has a really good reputation is there to help you and, and to take care of the problem. I mean, I, it's just unbelievable the difference in the stress level. You're on Real Estate Mortgage Shop. I'm Joe Garner, your host, mortgage loan officer. You can connect with me at jogarner.com, and I hope you do. You can subscribe to our podcast at jogarner.com, and we'll send you our weekly podcast, and we'll even take the show notes for you how's how cool is that we've got dan brenner in the studio with us from redeemers group foundation repair and we'd like to have you with us too so give us a call while we're live today at 901-535-9732 we'll see you guys back in just a moment 
600 WREC and 92.1 FM. Hi, I'm Steve Richmond, that am I guy with Genworth Mortgage Insurance, based out of Raleigh, North Carolina. You're listening to Real Estate Mortgage Shop with the wonderful host, Joe Garner. Now, back to the show. Solid ground. That's what we're talking about today on Real Estate Mortgage Shop, your home and your mortgage, how to make sure you are standing on a firm foundation. And I'm Joe Garner, your host, mortgage loan officer, and I want you to connect with me at jogarner.com. And you know what? I'd love to talk to you personally the old-fashioned way by just calling me at 901-482-0354. In the studio today, we have Dan Brenner of Redeemers Group, and they're the foundation experts. And Dan, how do we contact you? So you can contact us at uh, redeemersgroup.com. Or uh, our local number is just 901-458-3424. Either way, online at redeemersgroup.com or 901-458-3424. Awesome. And you can call us in the studio right now if you want to talk to us live, uh, 901-535-9732. We're going to take a moment. We're going to do our Look Back Memphis Trivia Contest, and it's brought to you by notable Memphis historian Jimmy Ogle. Jimmy Ogle offers free historic walking tours downtown in the spring and in the fall. For more information about Jimmy Ogle, go to jimmyogle.com. The Look Back Memphis Trivia Contest is sponsored by John and Jennifer Lawhon of Lawhon Landscape, 901-754-7474. The Lawhons can help you plan your landscaping if you have a big, big project or maybe just a little small project that you want to do in phases. The Lawhons are giving away a $25 gift card to the first person with the correct trivia answer. And if you know the answer to our trivia question, call us at 901-535-9732. Here's our question. I currently consist of two parishes that merged during the 20th century. Who am I? Now, these are, this is a place in Memphis, and if you're outside of Memphis, you can still play the game, but uh, all of these questions have to do with Memphis. Here's another one. I am a midtown church with a window designed by a very famous designer. Hint number three. In 1974, my parish was the largest of its denomination in Tennessee, and hint number, the next hint, is in 1981, my parish was the first parish in the state of Tennessee to ordain a female, and our final hint is my merger was complete in 1940, and I serve Memphis at that location today, so you know it's a church, but which church is it? Give us a call if you know the answer, 901-535-9732. And uh, we're going to go back, you know, we're talking about your home and your mortgage, how to make sure you are standing on a firm foundation. We've got Dan Brenner in our studio today with Redeemers Group, and he was just about to talk about how all of this rain is affecting our home's foundation. Dan, can you speak to that? Yeah. um, You know, foundations are, are really dependent upon the soil. Okay, the soil that sits under your home and and there's a lot of factors that play into that when you know when they're building homes, whether it's native soil, whether it's fill soil, how how well compacted it is. And so the weather really plays a big part in that Uh, when when the grounds get significantly wet, like right now. I mean, today we're having a pretty rainy day. Mm -hmm. Seems like we've had a lot of rain this week. (laughs) Um, And so, you know, the grounds, they swell and expand um in the same token you know the soil the excuse me the soil moves and shifts and Mm -hmm. and when it dries out you know extreme droughts we might have a drought in the middle of the summer Mm -hmm. um and so all that soil movement is what is affecting your foundation and the ability to stabilize your home um you know with all the movement i mean uh, again rain dry heat cool anything that's going to affect the soil conditions under your home is is what's going to you know uh, essentially directly correlate to whether or not your foundation is solid how can we uh what can we do as homeowners to minimize the damage well you know first things first um you want to you want to do everything you can uh to keep water away from from your foundation you know so if you have gutters you want to make sure that those downspouts are extended away from you know from the footing 
Uh, you just don't want that water, you know, dumping on the footing. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, people who have crawl spaces here here in town, you know, a lot of plumbing, you know, is running under their house. Right. Um, you know, I, I know a lot of people aren't getting in their crawl space on a daily basis, weekly no, basis. No, I don't hang out in there. <laughs> right, right. Monthly basis. Um, but at some point, you know, folks need to pay attention. You know, maybe you can be cued in from your MLG and W bill and, and see if, you know, maybe you have some kind of water leak, but you need to know what's going on under your home as right. well. Um, because any kind of plumbing leak or pipe leak can can obviously significantly affect your foundation. Mm-hmm. Well, we've got uh, Joe Thoritson just came in. He's a uh, he's the uh, he was just hosting the show, the Fix It Up show, right before our show. And Joe, you you you're a regular around here at WREC, aren't you? Yeah, I fell asleep in the corner and you woke me up, and so I'm <laughs> I'm chiming in. So yeah, <laughs> thanks, well, Joe. Chime in definitely. Okay, so uh, well, what, what are so today? It's foundations. It's kind of mm-hmm. well. Um, I, I work kind of on the other end of the spectrum. I'm, I'm more with the interior work and, uh, you know, decks and things like that. But I guess I see the, you know, I get to see the clues to tell you maybe you have a bigger problem. Like I've noted, you know, uh, if, if there's a, if you notice that maybe on, if you have hardwood flooring and there's some gaps that are unusually large in between some of the, uh, in some of the boards, that could be an indication. Maybe your house is starting to settle or slide in a way that's not necessarily good. A lot of times over the doors, you can mm-hmm. see, uh, we, you know, in some of the older homes, you're always going to get some settling and some cracks, mm-hmm. but maybe if it's an unusually large one, or uh, am I right, uh, separated crown molding and things like that sure, can, can sure. be triggers? Like yeah, that. and th- those are the obvious cosmetic signs, if you yeah. will, that develop. Uh, obviously, there's there's something going on that's causing those right. things. Uh, you know, uh, one of the one of the biggest misnomers that we, we hear and see a lot is, you know, in Midtown Memphis, obviously, older homes. Uh, and everybody right. says, okay, my home's been around a hundred years. Certainly it's going to have some, you know, some settlement going on. And, you know, a lot of times people think it's the materials that somebody used way back when, or, you know, the construction, you know, how it was built, but really what, what it is, is the settling, uh, you know, the movement and shifting of the soil yeah. uh, in hardwood floors. A lot of times you see, uh, cupping and, you know, a lot of times that's moisture that's causing that, uh, significant moisture can cause the cupping. Uh, if you have sloping of the floors, then then a lot of times it can be the piers and columns under your home settling. Right. Uh, you know, sometimes if you're on a slab, uh, you could just have a, a void created with, you know, the soil underneath your home from washout or, you know, sometimes plumbing's run under slabs as well. And, and maybe you have a leak that way. Or irrigation, maybe that's Absolutely. gone wild. <laughs> a- absolutely. Right. absolutely. We've seen that. Yeah. Absolutely. Gone amok. Yeah, literally. exactly. So, yeah, pay attention to those those warning signs we've got a trivia winner and i want to come back to that so hang out here joe i'm not letting you leave put a goat rope on joe for a minute <laughs> we've got jim on the line and jim congratulations for winning our look back memphis trivia contest um well thank you what's what's the answer to our trivia contest it would be great st luke's <laughs> you are so right all right so what clued you in to the answer well, to our question uh i'm a midtowner <laughs> and i kind of know a little bit of the history of it i I was, I was thinking it was either uh, St. Mary's or Great St. Luke's, and I picked Great St. Luke's because I remember there was something architecturally significant about that. Well, you are so smart. You get our gold star and a $25 gift card from John and Jennifer Lawhon of Lawhon Landscape. And, Jim, thank you so much for listening to Real Estate Mortgage Shop, and congratulations on well, being our winner. I listen every Saturday. I enjoy your show. Oh, thank you, Jim. You're so sweet. I hope you join us again sometime. And, you know, we've got about four or five minutes. Let's get back into that conversation about uh, if I'm a homeowner, what are some of the things, Dan, that uh, might give me a clue that I need to call you because I may have a foundation problem what sure. are some of those clues well th- the obvious ones are these big cosmetic you know areas that that show up you know on the exterior of your home you know you have these stair step cracks in in your brick uh, you might have separation where windows are generally they present themselves in that manner on, on the exterior of the home mm-hmm. uh, on the interior of the home uh like he was saying, Joe. Yeah, Joe. Thank yeah, you. That's okay. It's too Joe. Uh, yeah, it's he, Joe and Joe show. Joe well, and he was <laughs> sleeping most of the time. So yeah, I just snoring. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, uh, but like Joe was saying, you know, um, you know, cracks in the sheetrock, uh, doors that are sticking that just don't close. Mm-hmm. You know, they're not functional anymore. Right. 
Um, and you said any more. So in other words, they were functioning, absolutely. but all of a sudden they have evolved into sticking or maybe there's, you said stair step cracks. Correct. So that means they're not just, they're, they're not little hairline cracks just kind of going up here and there, but they're connected, but they're going in a stair step type. Uh, and and they're pretty visible. I mean, you know, those hairline cracks you're talking about, that's, that's the beginning of it. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's really when you want to try to catch it before it results in not only a more expensive repair um, but more more issues that uh, you know will present itself in terms of you know the, the cosmetic issues mm-hmm. um, I mean you know obviously we're going to come in and help you with your foundation if, if that's you know what's going on but then you have to you know maybe have somebody take care of the cosmetic issues as well you know rehang doors um, replane them something joe does right that's, that's kind of where i come in yeah i you guys do all the hard work and then i come in and do all the cosmetic <laughs> stuff so yeah but um and and is it true too that um like if you're on a hill you may be more susceptible if if water is not if it's running into the you know your backyard against the house during the heavy rains and things like yeah, that. yeah ab- absolutely i yeah. mean again you know we talked about water um you know affecting the foundation and trying to keep it away if you're on a significant grade and and water is just headed towards your foundation uh, you really need to take a look at that and do something sooner rather than later because again the the more you wait the more susceptible you are to having these issues and then you know needing to do something absolutely yeah preventative is always better than than doing it after the fact so correct yeah absolutely so well okay guys you know what we're getting ready to go to fox news but you're on real estate mortgage shop i'm joe garner your host mortgage loan officer and you can connect with me at jogarner.com you can also find me hanging around evolve bank and trust here in memphis love working in memphis in the mortgage uh, division but i work all over the country too i work everywhere everywhere i work in maine i work in california and alaska hawaii texas california you name it florida i'm there i i am in your town we've got in the uh co-host chair we've got uh, dan brenner from redeemers group a wonderful company great reputation solves a lot of problems and gives a lot of people peace of mind joe thoritson from the fix it up show the show prior to ours that's come in and um We've uh, we enjoy having him sometimes. So broke in. He no. broke in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys can break in on us. Give us a call if you want to talk with us live today while we're live, 901-535-9732. We'll see you guys back in just a moment. Hi, I'm Sherry Fincher, branch manager of Evolve Bank and Trust in West Memphis, Arkansas. You're listening to Real Estate Mortgage Shop. Now back to your host, Joe Garner. <laughs> Okay, you're not you're not really the TV's not on. You're not really listening to Bob the Builder. We're on Real Estate Mortgage Shop, and we're talking about your home and your mortgage. How to make sure you're standing on a firm foundation. And we've got uh, we've got uh, I wanted to say Bob the Builder in our studio, but no. we have Dan Brenner with Redeemers Group in our studio, and they fix foundation problems. How do we contact you, Dan? Well, Joe, you can uh, you can contact us at uh, RedeemersGroup.com is uh, one way and the other way is uh, 901-458-3424 again 901-458-3424 or Mm redeemersgroup.com okay Um, Joe I wanted to ask you a question because um, you know earlier you were talking about how do you know the maximum like house payment that'll work into your budget right Mm -hmm. and so I'm curious like is there a quick and easy way to come up with a budget you know, there is. I call it the quick and dirty because, you know, there are some people that have the mechanical pencils and they're very organized and they will go through a detailed budget. They'll go through everything they spend or get as income during the year and that's them. Most people do not fall under that bracket. Most of my clients call and say, I hate budgets. I don't have time to go through all that. So here's the quick and dirty that will really help you a lot more than you could ever imagine. Um, that is take pull up in front of you whether it's online or or paper pull up in front of you the last three months income statements or pay stubs calculate your gross income 
and then deduct out deductions or expenses that have to come from there. Right. And uh, if there's any bonuses that you get during the year or anything that's outside the norm, go ahead and calculate that in too. But if you get a snapshot of your last three months, usually you have a pretty good income, a pretty good idea of what your actual net income is. Then look at your yearly W-2s or tax returns and just, you know, just to make sure you're not leaving anything out on your income. Divide, take the total, divide by 12 months. Then pull up your checking accounts and your credit card bills. This only takes a few minutes if you're doing a three last three months snapshot. As you go through there, kind of get in mind, total up what you spend for food, what you spend for uh, car repairs, what you spend for, and you know the categories. Just add those up. And of course, you don't have to count in the one-time things that you that were just discretionary that you really don't have to do. Right. You don't have to add those in, but they will surprise you. Like the things you do for fun or just things you do on a whim, they will surprise you how much you actually spend. So, so how many dollars that I'm I'm buying my son on on iTunes? There you go. Right. Bingo. Uh, remember those once a year expenses that you've got to add in. They may not be in that three month snapshot, like your car tags, your car insurance, your home insurance, maybe some other type of bill that comes once or twice a year. Just to kind of make a mental note. Oh yeah, I've got to add that in too. And now you've got an idea of the ebb and flow of what your income is and your expenses are. And only at that point can you then go over and try to calculate what is truly going to be comfortable for me on a house note. You're going to live with that house note a long time and it's going to be the largest bill that you pay. Sure. You want to make sure that you're not handcuffed to your home. Like you said earlier, Dan, you know, we want to enjoy life. We want to travel a little bit. We want to have fun with the kids. We want to do things that make memories, not make, you know, everything a house note. Sure. So that is the quick and dirty. Okay. And uh, as far as down payment, you know, a lot of the financial gurus say that if you're salaried and you have a stable job, probably six months worth of living expenses is a very good benchmark for keeping emergency funds available. So you don't want to pay every dime out when you buy a house because there's expenses with that too. Keep an emergency fund. If you're self-employed, 100% commission. Uh, as a general rule, they say you need a whole year of um, living expenses in a place that you can get to it. So emergency funds are big. Uh, I'd love to talk to you about your plan. Let's because we always say on here, make your plan, work your plan. If a deal works for you today, do it today. But you have to talk with me personally so I can work with you personally. And you can apply online if you want, or you can call me the old-fashioned way, 901 482 But you know, another one is insurance. Right. That what kind of insurances can protect your financial foundation? Because you know what, uh, Dan, if we amass all this equity in our house and we amass all of this investment, one car wreck can wipe it all out, makes it a moot point. So we want to, as we're building equity, buying homes or buying our home or buying rental property or investing or repairing things and taking care of it, we want to we want to have a protection on our assets and. That's insurance. So um, here are a few to consider. Owner's title. People are like, well, you didn't require owner's title. Do I really have to pay it? No. You have to pay the lender's title when you buy a house or refinance, but you don't have to buy owner's title. Owner's title is worth its weight in gold. It's very small and it's one time, and it covers the value of your house. If anybody comes and, you know, I'm trying to knock on the mic here. Knock, knock, knock. (laughs) I'm not, I'm an heir from X number of years ago. I never signed off on my rights, but I've come here now to take my house back. Right. Well, you're living in the house, you know. So the lender's title will take care of up to what you owe on the mortgage. Okay. But if you've paid the mortgage down, that's all it's going to cover. Owner's title will cover you for the life of the time that you own that house. That sounds important to me. And it's cheap. So owner's insurance is a must. Uh, Homeowner's insurance, be sure you carry enough liability insurance in there so that some people just have a measly $25,000 for a liability. But if somebody's going to sue you today, they're not going to sue you for $25,000. They're going to sue you for a million or something crazy like that. Flood insurance, boy, even if you're not in a flood zone, you can get flood insurance pretty cheap. 
So think about that. An umbrella policy to cover you for enough to cover all of your assets. An umbrella co- policy. Long-term and short-term health care. Because you know what, Dan? If we lose our health, everything else is a moot point. Yep. A good health insurance policy. Car insurance with enough liability to protect your assets. Life insurance for those you love. And, of course, there are types of business insurances if you're in business for yourself. Consult with your professional wealth advisor, uh, financial advisor. Okay, well, speaking of those guys, who do you need on your team? If you want to save yourself a lot of heartache and devastating financial losses, these are the guys, these are the gals that you want to go to. Depending on the size of your transaction, get a reputable, experienced pro on your team, and that can minimize your chances of losing money and going through the heartache when you buy a home or refinance your home. Here are the team members that you really need to get uh, experience and a reputable uh, representative, realtor, mortgage loan officer. By the way, I'd like to sign up for the job. It would be an honor to be on your journey as your mortgage loan officer. Title company or a closing attorney, a home inspector, an insurance agent, and you can probably think of others. But last of all, before I stop going here, (laughs) here are some tips to the wise today, where the market we're in today is different. I mean, massively different, Dan, than what it was last year. Sure is. Number one, the Federal Reserve is still talking about continuing to raise their rate several times over the next several months. Now, this is probably going to cause rates on your home equity lines, your credit cards, and other variable interest rate loans that you have or credit lines you have up there. It's going to make those payments go up. Right. And when they're done going up, you know what? They're going to go up again. So if you don't want your payments just continuing to go up, up, and away, you might want to look at combining your variable rate loans and lines of credit into one low fixed rate mortgage. So give me a call. I would love to look at those scenarios with you. They need to lock it in, right, Joe? Lock it in. We'll load it in the system and we'll lock it, load and lock or something like that. Locked and loaded. <laughs> well, in the mortgage business, it's load and lock. Okay. There <laughs> but you go. yeah, you get the You're picture. You're teaching me. <laughs> yes. But, uh, you know, this is, it's a good feeling to know that you've made a smart move to protect yourself from loss. And here's the last one. Uh, if your financial situation should change suddenly, putting you in a bind, do not panic. Your first thing, and we had uh, Kathy Fowles from UT uh, uh, Extension Service in here a few weeks ago. She said, don't panic. Assess your resources and your liabilities. Consult with a financial professional. There is a solution for every challenge. So that's that tip. We've got a minute before we go to break. I wanted you to talk a little bit. Um, You guys, I mean, you guys rock. Redeemer's Group. You have um, made so many. You've gotten so many awards. The Inc. Magazine, I believe, is it Inc. Inc. Five thousand. Five thousand. Talk yep. a little bit about that for a few. A little bit. Well, basically, the Inc. Five thousand is just um, you know the fastest growing companies in the in the country. They they rank the top five thousand companies. We finished in the top twenty five percent in growth uh, last year. We we were pretty proud of that. Um, but but really, that's a result of the customers and the work that we do, uh, how we take care of the customers. And, and really, two awards that, that really sing to my heart, quite frankly. Number one is last year we uh, were an Angie's List Super Service Award winner. Yes. And that's strictly based on customer reviews. So our customers know that we do good work. They know that we care about them. Um, and we're going to do everything in our power to get them the same results that they're looking for. Um, so that, that one is really important to us. The other one that I'm proud of to work with Clint and Clint, Clint wouldn't brag on himself, but he was named CEO of the year by the Memphis business journal last year. That's fantastic. So Clint's a great guy to work for. The company's awesome. And we, as evidenced by the awards that we've won, we, we truly take care of our customers. We're going to go to break. We'll see you guys back in just a moment. 600 WREC and 92.1 FM. I'm John Dancy with Auto Appraisal Group. You're listening to Real Estate Mortgage Shop. Now back to your host, Joe Garner.
baby. I feel the earth move under my feet. You know, that's not really a good thing, Dan, if right. you're standing in your living room. That's true. <laughs> Very you're true, on Joe. Real Estate Mortgage Shop. I am Joe Garner, your host, and I'm a mortgage loan officer, and I would love to connect with you at jogarner.com. you got to talk to me personally so I can work with you personally because we remind you, you need to make your plan, work your plan. If the deal works for you today, do it today. Today we're talking about your home and your mortgage, how to make sure you're standing on fir- a firm foundation. <laughs> All right, Dan, it's time for the Real Estate Tip of the Week, and I believe that Dan Brenner with Redeemers Group, you have our Real Estate Tip of the Week. I do, and um, Joe, what I want to say is, you know, when you're buying or selling a home in regards to your foundation, there can be a lot of money involved in it for the buyer and the seller, and obviously your customers can be either one, right? Mm -hmm. So when you're buying a home, don't be scared of you know, potential foundation issues. What it can mean is you can get a great value on a home and immediately be in an equitable situation. Uh, And what I mean by that is, uh, you know, we hear all the time 10 to 20 percent realtors have to discount homes with foundation problems. So, you know, really that problem could be very inexpensive to fix. It could be something very easy. And when we fix it, we give, you know, 25 to lifetime warranties. Yes. So, you know, we know that when we fix it, you're on a stable foundation at that yes. point. So maybe you get a great value and, and great equity. If you're selling your home, of, you know, on, on the opposite side of that is that if you have to discount your home to 10 to 20 percent with a foundation problem, you know, it might cost significantly less to repair it. So now you're saving yourself a lot of money as opposed to, you know, selling it as is or not addressing it. And then somebody knowing that, uh, number one, they, they may be afraid of buying that, that home with the foundation problem. But number two, you can, you can give them uh, a significant warranty and save yourself a lot of money. That is a great tip, Dan. I hope, y'all got, I hope you guys heard that. And if you didn't, if you missed part of this show, you can go to jogarner.com on Monday and pick it up on the blog post uh, with a podcast and all. Got some announcements. Talk Shop offers free networking and education to anyone interested in real estate or in business. Talk Shop meets every Wednesday, 9 o'clock, over at Pino's Palette at 8225 Dexter Road in Cordova. And, uh, you know, this week... We've got David Altizer of SOS Systems, uh, Computer Systems, and he's going to be talking about how to keep your computer safe in 2018, which can be a trick (laughs) with all the stuff going on. So don't miss Talk Shop on February 17th, 2018, 9 o'clock over at Pino's Palette. Talk Shop events are free thanks to advertisers like Marcus Force, owner of um, PuroClean of Memphis. He cleans up and restores your home from water damage, smoke and fire damage, mold and biohazards. You can call Marcus at 901-237-2040. Thank you to Tim Gilliland of BackupRx.com down in Hornando, Mississippi, for keeping Talk Shop's data secure with uh, data backup and recovery recovery service so that's a way to protect and stand on a firm foundation when it comes to your data tim uh, can keep your business on a firm data foundation the redeemers group and i want to let you mention redeemers group the love well 5k and festival on saturday yeah saturday march 3rd uh we're going to be out at sims murphy and it's a 5k that's benefiting the serenity recovery center here in memphis uh, basically focusing on the uh, opioid epidemic that's going on uh, all across our country uh, right now. But uh, we just like to do things to give back to the community, and this is one of those things, uh, just something that maybe doesn't get a lot of publicity here in town. Um, so just something that we do. We have fun out there. There's going to be a lot of vendors, music, uh, and a 5K race, and it's just a lot of fun out there. And, you know, thank you for that. And you guys are awesome supporting that that good cause. Thank you to Chad Irwin, Memphis Mortgage Manager at Evolve Bank and Trust, for sponsoring this episode of Real Estate Mortgage Shop today. And for this podcast, you can go to jogarner.com. If you'll click the blog post, you'll not only get uh, the podcast, but you'll also get the show notes. Subscribe at jogarner, and we'll send you the podcast right to your inbox with the show notes already taken. We want to stay connected with you. Real Estate Mortgage Shop reminds you to make your plan, work your plan. If the deal works for you today, do it today. We've got a quick quote, Dan, from our quote corner, and here it is. It's from Anonymous. Okay. You can't live in our basement. 
your brother already beat you to it. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's a good one. I like that. Uh, yeah, how many times has that happened? Right. Want to go back real quick though, and uh, we were you. You wanted to uh, add something that we didn't cover back in the earlier part of the show. I think it was lift lifting the foundation versus stabilizing it. Correct. Sometimes, sometimes there's the opportunity uh, to lift your foundation back up to level. And, you know, sometimes you don't need that, right? If, if you don't have, you know, windows and doors that are out of level that aren't working, you may not need to lift, but, uh, you do, um, you do have the better likelihood to get your home back where you want it to be. If you address the problem sooner rather than later, the more is the best time. Well, the best time is always sooner, not only for that lift aspect of it and and making sure that everything's back to level, uh, because what we guarantee, Joe, is stability. We guarantee that you're not going to have future problems so that, you know, hypothetically, if you've waited a long time and it's, it's difficult to get it back to level, we guarantee stability. And then at that point, you can do the cosmetic fixes. You can address the door that won't close. Now it'll close and you know that the foundation isn't moving anymore. So the best time is always to do it as soon as you identify the problems to minimize the cost. I mean, obviously, if it if you wait and it gets the problem gets worse, it stands to reason you're going to need more materials to fix the problem, which then means obviously additional cost. Mm -hmm. So the best time to do it is today. Uh, That way you don't have additional cost, you know, for, you know, additional repairs and you stand a better chance of getting the results that you're looking for as well. I think that's, that's great information, and as far as the mortgage goes, if you're wanting to just kind of take a test drive and see what scenarios are available out there to you to either lower your note altogether, maybe combine some of these uh, variable rate deals you've got that if we look at what they're saying on Bloomberg and some of these other uh, agencies, it looks like those payments on the, your variable rate stuff's going to be going up and up again and up again, so if you want to try to stave off the bleeding get it into one fixed rate loan give me a shout it's it's free to do a test run and just do some numbers and see if it's even going to work for you you can call me at 901-482-0354 you can connect with me at jogarner.com you can uh, apply online at https colon forward slash forward slash jogarner.evolve.mortgage and you can go online or talk to me in person and how do we contact you dan you contact us at www.redeemersgroup.com or at 901-458-3424 hey we've loved hanging out with you on real estate mortgage shop this saturday it was and, uh, fun yeah and we want to remind you guys make make your plan work your plan if the deal works for you today do it today i'm joe garner your host mortgage loan officer and i look forward to seeing you again next saturday see you then Thank you for listening to Real Estate Mortgage Shop, where we offer you solutions to your real estate and financing scenarios. I'm Joe Garner, your host, mortgage professional. Catch this podcast and more at jogarner.com.